Hello and welcome to this lesson on the Fourier difference. So we are going to go through some concepts after which we are going to solve this particular example here. So please like the video if it helps you and please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't. Thank you. So we have several finite difference of creatures. And we are going to talk about three of them. Not much into details because you are interested in the Fourier difference. So we have the Fourier difference operator, which you can see here, which is given by delta of yi. And that is given by yi plus 1 minus yi. So that means when you have, let's see, a point here i. We know this, let this be i plus 1 and this be i minus 1. When you take the Fourier difference on yi here, it is going to be the difference between whatever we have here and this. So it's going to be yi plus 1 minus yi. And you realize that the backward difference is going to be what we can see here. So that's going to give us yi minus yi minus 1. We shift back. So the symbol we can see here is known as delta. Then with the backward difference operator, um, we, we use this symbol. You could see the invented, the inverted, I'm sorry, delta, which is known as the del or the nabla. And when we operate on y i, it will give you y i minus y subscript i minus one, right? Then we have the central difference, and that one is given by this particular operator here, which is known as the small del. So small del of y i equals whatever we find here, right? So basically, these are, these are the three main operators that. We'll be talking about in subsequent videos but for now we are going to focus on the way difference operator to help us solve our problem so we are coming to see how to get a table to represent our four difference operators actually we have orders of them we can have the first order four difference operator uh, there's the second order, the third order, the fourth order, and so on. So we are going to learn how to compute our Fourier difference in a tabular form. Okay. So Fourier difference of various orders of points S not F not. So this is our first point, our second point, third, and fourth. So what we do is that we list so this is a place where we list down the values for our x's and there's the f's our functional values all right and this here stands for the first order the second order and the third order for a difference so we get this from the question right because from the question we had s0 s1 s2 and s3 and that's what you can find here and we have f0, f1, f2, f3. That's what you can find here. Now like I said, this stands for the first order for a difference. This stands for the second order. And this stands for the third order. So, recall that we set our for a difference operator on yi is given as yi plus 1 minus yi. So, for instance, if i equals, let's say, 0 then the Fourier difference on y not to be equal to y1 minus y0. I hope you get this. And right, so here that means that the first order Fourier difference on f0 to be f1 minus f0. You can even see that from here. So f1 will be f2 minus f1. And f2 is going to be f3 minus f2. So we're just going to use the f's that we have here. And the second order is just going to be this minus this. And see where we are writing it. We write it here. And 
the second order for between this and this will also give us um, what we can see here. I hope you see it. Then the third order gives us um, what we can see here. So that's going to be the difference between um, this and that. All right. So notice it carefully. You realize that it follows some path and which is very, very easy to understand. All right. So since we understand this, now let's move on to our question. So our question reads. The table below shows the tabulated values of the function f of s equals s e x in the interval 0 0.2 to 1.0 and we have the tabulated values here so our x takes um, values 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 1 and the corresponding functional values are what we can see here so the question continues. Construct the Fourier difference f d for the data given, and we are going to work in four decimal places. Okay, right. So this is the data given, right? I mean, let me. So this didn't include the data, so I'm going to explain it. So this was the data given to us. So we have our excess our f of x we are supposed to find the first four difference the second the third and the fourth right so in finding for the first difference operator that means um we are going to get the first that is going to be delta of f naught will be equal to f1 minus f naught i hope you get those things so this is going to be delta of f1 delta of f2 and this is going to be delta of f3 so this is going to be the first order for a difference so four of them that we will have to find then the second order we're going to have delta squared f naught we have this then we also have this then the third order we are going to get this and we also get this and the fourth order is actually going to give us this right so that means we have to find these difference four differences okay and we are going to compute all of them you realize that it's very very simple so for instance let's come to the first order so when it comes to the first order we to compute the first one we have here that's um the first order difference on f naught we know it to be given by f1 minus f naught because the first difference on y i plus one is given us y so let me just use y i so on y i is given us y i plus one minus y i so in the case where our i is zero then we have what is here so we know that our f1 is this as we can see here and this happens to be our f naught so that means that this is just going to be the difference between this and this here and that will give us 0 0.3524 then to get whatever is here this so this is going to be the difference between f2 minus f1 and from the table these are the values so when you make this um, subtraction you are going to get 0 0.949 sorry 0 0.4966 the same applies to this which will give you the difference between f3 and f2 which will give you 0 0.6871 and the last part is going to give us 0 0.9374 so know that the functional values are from the table so that's what we are using so you can see that now we've been able to find this here this this and this so you just have to fill in those values that we had into this table okay 
then now we are supposed to go to the second order for a difference so what i want you to know is that you see here for instance we have the second order on f naught so the second order for a difference on s naught is going to give us the first order for a difference on f1 minus the first order for a difference on f naught right so this is going to be the formula so when you have for f1 that is going to give you i hope you get it so now let's compute it the second order for a difference so when it comes to the second order for a difference um the second order for a difference on f naught is going to give you this as we can see here and know that we've already computed this in that's the first order so we just make substitution because this is our um f1 and this is our f naught in terms of the first order and so when you make that subtraction you're going to get 0 0.1442 then we compute the other one so i hope you understand the formula right then that gives us 0 0.1905 then we also compute the last one, which gives us 0 0.2508. So I hope you know the reason why this formula is this. And know that you've already computed this from the first order. So that means now we have these three two. We've been able to compute these three two. So we just have to substitute them inside this table and fill them. Then we are going to the third order. So with the third order, what you have to know is that the third order on f naught will give you the second order on f1 minus the second order on f naught right so that's the value we use to compute this and you should know that that of f1 will then be what we can see here i hope you get it all right so we are going to use those to calculate the values at the third order for a difference so this here is going to be given by this formula i know that we've already computed these two right so when we computed this we had 0 0.1905 and this give us 0 0.1442 when you make that difference you are going to get 0 0.0463 and doing this also gives us 0 0.0603 then with a fourth Fourier difference that is going to give us whatever we have here so you realize that this thing is very simple as you get one of them the rest just follow so we've already computed these values so making substitution gives us um, 0 0.0603 minus 0 0.0463 and we can find those here from the third order so this and that so making this subtraction gives us 0 0.0140 since you are working in um we are working in four decimal places so thank you very much and this about the four difference the tabular form so computing it in the tabular form so in our next video we'll talk about the same concept but with a backward difference thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you